Now, the stakes could not be higher for Ukraine when Russia started its invasion last month. Now, to much of the world's surprise, the Russian troops have still not managed to gain control of the capital city of Kiev. And many experts say that this is not just because the Russia is using its lighter arms, but also because of the stiff resistance by Ukrainian soldiers. The smoke was seen rising on the Kievian, Kievan skyline, northwest of the city. The cause of the smoke at this point of time is not immediately clear whether it was a missile strike or whether it was some mortar shelling by the Russians that resulted in this. But Kiev's regional administration has reported that the capital's northwest suburbs, namely Bucha, Hostomil, Irpin and Moschun, received heavy firing early in the early hours of Saturday. The authorities in Kiev have said that at least about 228 people had been killed in the capital. That includes four children. According to a statement, at least about 912 people had been wounded and it is feared that the numbers could actually continue to rise and could be much higher. Now, some of the worst affected in this war happen to be children, especially newborn babies who have been forced to wait for parents who are willing to adopt. The babies are under the care of nurses in a makeshift nursery as parents are unable to travel or are unwilling to adopt the children amidst the crisis. У нас дуже хороші є кімнати, які оснащені для того, щоб дітям було комфортно. Там все є для того, щоб вони почувалися в безпеці, доглянутими. Але зараз ми знаходимося тут, щоб зберегти життя собі і дітям. І тут переховуємося від цих бомбардувань і від цієї страшної біди. Now, amidst the raging conflict and the humanitarian crisis, Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky, who earned praise for his leadership skills, presented state awards to soldiers of the Rapid Operational Response Unit of its National Police. The Volodymyr Zelensky also expressed his gratitude to the officers who took part in encountering the Russian invasion. The unit has been designed to respond to emergency situations and perform complex duties. Дячим за захист кожного з нас, тих, хто, тих, хто тут, знаєте, що ми точно з вами. Слава Україні! Героям слава! Meanwhile, the mayor of Kiev visited checkpoints on the outskirts of the city as fighting continues to rage on in multiple fronts in Ukraine. Now, the mayor of Kiev, Vitaly Klitschko, was seen briefing the soldiers who have built trenches to thwart Russian attacks. 